Uh, he had a tremor when he would try to eat or talk. He'd had great difficulty completing sentences. None of the existing medications seemed to work, so his wife Mary, a physician, went searching, uncovering a fascinating theory. Brain cells in those with Alzheimer's are starving to death because they can't absorb glucose, a sugar, for energy. She uncovered that coconut oil produces something called ketones, and it might serve as another type of brain fuel. So in 2008, Dr. Newport started her husband on four teaspoons a day in his food. In weeks, she says, she saw big improvements. Before uh, he started the coconut oil, for example, I had to tie his shoes. He couldn't do that himself. His weird slow gait, uh, that improved so that he walked normally. And he actually was able to start physically running again. He was able to start reading again. And his conversation uh, improved dramatically where he could carry on a conversation again. And then over you know, several months, we started seeing improvements in his memory. So those were all you know, very exciting improvements that we saw in Steve. Here's an example. This is how Steve drew a clock before starting on a daily dose of coconut oil. This, 14 days after. This, a month later. When she wrote up her story, she began getting letters from hundreds of others, now giving their loved ones coconut oil, and many reporting similar improvements. But for five years, Dr. Newport couldn't get any scientists interested in studying coconut oil, likely because it's a food, not a drug. It does make me angry because millions of people have this disease, 30 million worldwide, that are um, struggling with Alzheimer's disease, mm -hmm. and then many more with other types of dementias that might potentially respond. You know, in the meantime, these people are deteriorating and dying uh, without even having had the chance to know about it. I feel that people should at least know about it so they can decide for themselves, is this something they want to try or not. Finally, some researchers have taken up her challenge, becoming the first to test coconut oil for Alzheimer's. Mary has been very persistent in asking us to move forward with this. And as a scientist, I like to find out if there's any real scientific basis. This Florida Research Institute has just started testing coconut oil against placebo in 65 Alzheimer's patients, a study funded by a charitable foundation. Yes, it is difficult to find funding for things that are, you know, not going to really make anybody any money. You know, pharmaceutical industry is in this, of course, you know, to make money for their companies. Of course, they want to help people, theoretically, but at the end of the day, it's about dollars and cents. Um, and so money gets invested in things that are new or patentable rather than things that are sitting there on the shelves already. Crazy idea, not according to this Canadian researcher. He's confirmed ketones may be an alternative fuel for aging brains, saying more studies are urgently needed. There's not very much out there, and I think the reason this is exciting is that it suggests that the brain is starting is starving basically as you as you slip into Alzheimer's disease, and if you can provide it an alternative fuel, um, that there's a chance that you can resuscitate some areas of the brain. And that's really is super exciting. The the problem is we don't want to give a false hope. We don't want to get off on the wrong foot and give the impression uh, that we've got some kind of magic solution. So it it has to be done extremely cautiously, and and we have to. Uh, understand why the coconut oil would be beneficial and what doses would be necessary. Steve Newport has since suffered a setback and is now in the later stages of Alzheimer's with his wife convinced that coconut oil made a difference. And I feel that we gained two to three much better years, uh, improved quality of life that we wouldn't have had without this. And it looks like Alzheimer's may win <laughs> in this particular case. But, um, you know, there are many people out there who are much earlier in the disease that could very well benefit. An unexpected source of hope for a disease that has long defied treatment with an answer possibly just a year away. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.